can't fucking do it anymore. I can't take it. I can't take this shit anymore. Having a mental breakdown over it every single day. It's the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I've become what I hate most. I've become a shorts channel, Neon. You've become a shill. I have You've actually become a slave to the algorithm. I uploaded one today, and I I don't actually know how it's doing. I legitimately uh, did not check it. Let me check it right now. Uh, one hundred sixty nine views. That is piss poor, but you know what? Hey, I, I got another one out, and how's the fucking Zarigoto one doing? Because I, I literally haven't checked any of my analytics all day, despite having one scheduled to go up today. Yeah, you've been, you've been, having, you've been too busy playing Amogus. <laughs> playing Amogus and talking on Discord and editing the, the secret project. So the, the This Light Novel is Sus video has... Uh, 216 views yeah so the last two bombed but the first two got 4.5k and 1.9k views respectively so uh, it's pretty good yeah so the context to this by the way 4.5k views literally better than the past let me go to my recent videos though a one a two a three uh it about might, it's about even videos. it's about even with the Mashal video. And if it has to be better than the short I just uploaded, the last video to get more than that is my last short. Which is depressing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what I, I've yeah. learned I've learned that for now anyway, YouTube because they're so desperate to overtake TikTok. And so they're pushing them like crazy. Hey guys, don't go to TikTok. We we have TikTok here at home. Don't migrate off. And yeah, uh, I, I, hate I, it. I don't have TikTok and I've kept myself off it. I've been TikTok clean. All the best TikToks end up going to Instagram anyway. Uh so I see they they end up on Twitter or tic, uh Instagram, so I see them anyway. Uh, I'd imagine the TikTok feed, the the browsing feed, is more streamlined and more versatile than the YouTube Shorts feed, because the YouTube Shorts feed is ass. It is. Oh, dude, I don't know how many times I've, like, accidentally nudged my scroll wheel on my mouse, and it just flies down! Hey guys, here's the next short, because they want you to get into the loop so badly. And then I'll scroll up, and then it'll go back to the short that I had accidentally scrolled down to, or the one above won't play properly, or something like that. It just glitches out all the time, and barely functions. Uh, like, for a while, I could barely even get the comments to show up for whatever reason. And, and granted, I don't use shorts that often because I hate YouTube Until shorts recently. with a passion. I don't even you like I upload to shorts. I do not watch shorts typically. I I watch shorts. I'll I'll watch the shorts of what, whatever my uh, channels I subscribe to upload, and occasionally there'll be an interesting short, like maybe something Dragon Ball related or something. Uh gaming related that happens to align with my interests uh, i'll watch it i d i don't find myself uh falling down the shorts rabbit hole uh i will watch like maybe three shorts at a time i i def do not scroll the uh the the shorts feed via uh, swipe whether you scroll down on the mouse on the brow browser or in the app you just swipe down uh, I get my shorts recommended to me from my home feed on mobile most often. Yeah, I n almost never scroll, and if I do, it's either accidentally, or I, I just this brief bit of curiosity. Okay, what's the next one like? Oh, okay, it wasn't that good. I'm just gonna go off now, and then okay, so the the primary shorts I watch. I, well, I don't sub to shorts channels. Either that or they're like Gotham Chess, who I'm just not interested in their shorts. I imagine they're just clips from his actual videos, and even if they aren't, they probably aren't worth it. 
But the primary shorts I watch are just, hey, there's a short in your feed that looks interesting. Okay, I'll watch that singular short. Half the time it sucks anyway, but then the other half of the time, you know, maybe it's one of my guilty pleasures, like a funny cat video. I, I feel like, <laughs> granted, this is based off of an extremely small sample size, but I've is there a, re a renaissance of funny cat videos on shorts? I get the feeling that there is, the, the Spidey sense. Probably. Maybe, I, may, well, maybe one could say they never truly went away, and maybe they just found a, a new way to worm themselves into your brain with via shorts. Yeah, like, I'll click on one, and then, you know, just out of curiosity, scroll down, oh, it's another cat video. Okay, I don't want to get trapped into, in the cat wormhole. I have better things to do with my life, so I'm gonna just hit the back arrow. But, but I want to watch Anya Forged and Steel from Spy Kids being cute. <laughs> no, I have work to do. <laughs> yeah, that was my exactly. first short. And that has i think 400 views right now it, it's done 500 oh it went up to 500 ah hell yeah it's not that good but i do think the saying anya forged in steel is kind of funny yeah i'm a fan of that one uh yeah the 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 trick to youtube shorts is either you do you either make original ones and then you, as like supplementary mini uploads to uh, bank on blowing up in the algorithm to get eyes on your channel and be like, dang, this mini version of a video is so good. I wonder what a full length version of this guy's videos are. Or you take highlights of uh, existing videos and you shortify them. You just somehow squeeze them into that reverse aspect ratio of 1080 by 1920. Yeah, so God, there's like so, so much we could talk about with shorts because it's something that I Oh yeah, this is I've Castaway anyway, by the way. It's finally back. <laughs> oh yeah, we did forget to actually say what <laughs> what we were doing. Although to be fair, that sort of fits the vibe of the show. But yeah, how long has it been? 6 months. A very long time. That's all I know. Uh yeah, it's it's, it's about to be 6 months. Half a year. We'll see Castaway anime is going is switching to bi-weekly. And so we actually have time to do them now. Yeah, because th this doesn't take any kind of preparation. This is just, uh, hey, do you have 30 to 45 minutes to hop in voice call, shoot the shit, and uh, I'll quick edit it and have already have pre-existing gaming footage recorded to send over to you to upload? Yeah, so it's very easy to put out. But getting back to the topic at hand, right, so... I feel like my gripes with shorts can be summarized by a one I saw probably about a week or two ago, where apparently there's this controversy going on about Orihime in Bleach. However, okay, so the short was setting up this controversy. People are hating on Bleach. They are being so mean, guys. This they, is so uncalled for. they hate Orihime for. just like we do? Uh, it, it was like some kind of... I got the sense that it was some kind of maybe she's like being sexualized too much. That's all I can guess. But the reason why I say I can only guess is because at no point does the short establish why people are mad. All it does is says is say that people are mad and it has something to do with Orihime. And I just, nice I Senator, wasted- Why don't you back it up with a source? I was sat there the entire time waiting for him to say why and then say it's stupid because of such and such, you know, give an actual opinion. Uh, give some insight into the situation. But it's just, it's just a mind-numbing YouTube short that says nothing and provides no insight. And I, I vaguely remember it uh, showing tweets in the background. Maybe I could have paused and read them. But I was, I was just waiting. I was like, no, you need to explain it to me. I'm not going to sit there and read, you know, like, constantly pause the short and read the tweets. I want you to tell me what they're saying and have that as, like, the supporting evidence. Maybe he just didn't have enough runtime to do that. 
you, if I'm you being gotta charitable, understand, country, 60, sec- 60 seconds is a long time to establish your point, especially when you it's, don't follow the short uh, structure format that you have to do to make it successful to be like, uh, you... Like, like you're writing an essay, like they taught you back in school. You gotta summarize the point of your uh, uh, essay at the beginning of the video. Like, uh, I did X, Y, and Z. And then you spend the next 30 to 45 seconds creating the, the rising action, the climax of that when you did the thing, the falling action. And then uh, you feel the conclusion, you gotta make sure that it loops back around perfectly. So that way the viewing experience is absolutely seamless yeah you 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 gotta say and that's why at the end of every short regardless of if it actually fits regardless if it even matches up to the beginning just say and that's why so much (laughs) it's so unnecessary like it literally how does it help in the algorithm at all like it's that has to be the reason why they they loop like that but i can't begin to comprehend what makes that sh- well how does that make a short perform better uh i'm not sure i i don't think it was tactically are you, are you, decided am I in- so what the reason well, why the, why is, so many people do it i then? can explain it i i think i know so sh- like tiktoks do just loop right and the reason why they loop is because you you have to scroll. You can stay on the video and loop it as many times as you want before you scroll down again. But they and don't so, loop perfectly back into themselves. They just start from the beginning. They they, they don't atte- most of them don't attempt to make a seamless experience. Yeah, but some people wanted to be cute about it and so made it loop. And that's where it began. I don't think it was tactical per but se. Like, why did I it think catch it's... on cuz I see so many different channels do it. Uh, I mean, you can ask that about anything, you know, why does any, uh, I I almost said artistic movement, but then I remembered I was talking about YouTube shorts, and so I'm gonna (laughs) refrain, but (laughs) any trend- That would imply giving Mr. B some kind of credit. God, there was this controversy about, uh- jacksepticeye saying that mr beast ruined youtube and although what he said was hyperbolic i when i was watching that clip There's i some was truth just to it i there is absolutely some truth to it and i think uh shorts are where you can see it most plainly where every single one and i do mean nearly every single one the vast majority that appear in your feed have Mr. Beast captions is what they've been dubbed by many people. And I think it's aptly fitting because you you put a text for every single word in what you're saying, right? It's a separate caption. And it also needs to have an effect on it. Maybe it zoom, like goes from big to small, zooms out each time you have a word. Or it's like shaking slightly. And... I'm over here with with my, you know, despite being a Zoomer, th- this shit goes too far. I, I cease relating to Zoomers once I see this. I have to, half the time I cover up the captions because it's just too <laughs> stimulating. It's like, why, why, why do you put them there? I can hear. And it's not that I hate I subtitles. Can understand I watch. Cap- I can. I, I can understand the 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 on screen captions. I hate them. Like, I, I, because I feel like it helps drive engagement because you have to read. Like, it, well, it's not yeah, just it's that absolutely you're for reading, engagement, and therefore it's it's tricking you into keeping engaged with the short because oh well, I'm already engaging my eyes to, and brain to read the text that I'm also hearing at the same time. Well, that's also what I hate about it, because it's not an artistic decision, obviously. It, it's because that's the meta. It's because it's more stimulation to make a short do better. No, I hesitate to say cynical, but it is kind of just there to make it pop off more. How many people actually like the captions? Obviously, Zoomers have to, or else it wouldn't catch on. Or, As, like, it, if they're not like distracting, I like them. Like, I I like all the captions that I've added to my shorts. I hate 
Okay, see, I don't mind captions as a concept. I hate the fact that it's every word. When it's every yeah, single no, no, no. word, if, if it's that's like, overkill. If, if every word gets their own caption, like, that's, I'm not doing that's that. That's almost I, every I short. I try to separate it by sent. Well, okay, what, what I like to do is that I separate them by, uh, like, phrases. Like, uh, I'll, I'll do, like, every five to, yeah, about every five words that I'll put new captions in. Or, like, I'll, I'll break it off via the, the noun. Yeah, but, like, f for most shorts that I've seen, you rarely see something more that, like, a phrase more than two or three words. That's, like, the max you can do, or, oh, you're starting to lose them as soon as it's more than three words at a time. Ugh. And another thing, it, it, you know, I, I say that it's cynical and to drive engagement, but there is also an element of the screen is so small that you really have to struggle to fit in more than that amount of words. It, it's that, but you know what? You, you, you know, the, the thing is, it's not even that, because, like, that, that sucks, but the worst part is that you have to know where to place the text, because the entire bottom half of the screen is real estate that is dedicated to uh, YouTube UI that you cannot disable. It is title, it is uh, who uploaded it, uh, man, let me make sure I have the exact stuff. I'll pull up, uh, one of my shorts right now. Yeah, uh, title, your name, and the subscribe button, and then, uh, th this just on browser. The whole sidebar, like, on desktop, it's a lot more manageable, because the like, dislike, comment, share, check out the channel button is all off this video's feed. It's on the sidebar. Uh, but on mobile, because it's all one screen... Uh, and so little real estate that the shorts were primarily designed for. You're just, the, the shorts are designed for the phone, not the computer. Uh, they have to put it on the sidebar, reducing your real estate even more. So you have to, when you make a short, you have to make sure that the most interesting stuff is put in the, this like, the, both the top two thirds of the video and, uh, the left side of the video, like, anywhere in that little dead zone of the bottom third of the screen and the right side of the screen uh you nope, can't put any any interesting elements there remember when people got bullied for filming in vertical mode when did that stop can we bring that back <laughs> because i uh, hate TikTok that youtube and Instagram shorts and youtube are... made a, made it cool again <laughs> Yeah, glad the the corporations forced us to accept it. But I, I I just have to take a step back and think about the practicality of having so little room to make a video. It's so small and so hard to put that anything of worth in there. That's the worst part about trying to take a, a highlight of a video and turn it into a short. You have to take your 1920 by 1080 video and be like, okay, do I want to just, like, blow it up until it fills the screen top to bottom? It just cuts out some parts of the screen and then just, you know, keyframe it or just move the scaling around. Yeah, and, so like, I do both of, of the camera Because sometimes, yeah, because same. the original video is at 1920, 1080... You you have things that are literally impossible to comprehend if you just right click, uh, you know. Uh, what what is it called? Like conform to aspect ratio? I don't think it's that, but it's something along those lines where you just fill up the entire screen. You know, sometimes stuff gets cut out that way, and so you got to move it yeah. around. So there's. The format that I've recently adopted for, you know, stream highlights that I did with uh, Nintendo Direct and uh, Zoom, the rest, uh, anymore, I I'm cooking up a, a, the last Mario Party uh, highlight. There's another and, one? From that stream way back when. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm cooking it right now. I, th uh, I thought we were already it's, done it's, with it's, them. We're, we're done with the hazing you in chance time, but we're... Uh, we're, I'm, I want to do the one where I got uh, screwed by the, the one platform peril game where even though I crossed the finish line first because I didn't touch the ground first, uh, Ar uh, Armagon won. Oh, all right. Yeah, so what I'm doing with that one is that 
I'm adopting a, a similar format with the Nintendo Direct one, where I'm dedicating the top half of the, uh, the, the top little quadrant of the screen to uh, what game it is. And then, uh, shit, what am I doing for the bottom part? I, I, I would need to pull up the feed real quick, but what, what I'm doing is, yeah, I'm putting the top half uh, for the logo, and then I'm trying to squeeze as much because now I kind of have a somewhat of a letterboxing effect. So I can uh, fit more screen real estate. Uh, yeah, I, I okay. So for this one, I decided to just squash and stretch the the ratio, which I can get away with for N sixty four because it's a pre game pre HD pre high definition. But for like HD games, that's gonna be really ugly. So I have to figure yeah. out something else for that. And uh, I I've learned now that, that I've been making the shorts for a while. Uh. If you put your text on the bottom half, uh, that little bottom third, that's not going to fly, but it may look good on thumbnails if you hopefully get a good auto-generated one, if you pray to the YouTube algorithm that auto-generates you a banger. Uh, but when you actually open it, especially on mobile, that shit's going to be hard to read and people are not, not going to care. They're going to swipe away. You got to put that shit in the middle. Yeah, so... Neon had to sort of coerce me into <laughs> into doing youtube shorts yet yeah, I, I i i wanted to do an experiment with you because i was like dude you'd get so you'd get like such free growth maybe maybe it wouldn't blow up like uh oh i the, the only shorts that i have that have gone past a thousand views are the announcing the shinkai month short the uh that the clip i took of a scrapped video i made way back when of splatoon 3 which is the most viewed thing on the channel uh, by itself with 5,500 views. And uh, more recently from the most recent Nintendo Direct where they announced uh, Diddy Kong and Funky Kong and Mario Kart 8 on Switch. Uh, I just took that highlight of myself reacting to it because I popped off and uh, it, it got 1,300. Yeah, so I've had so shorts I was, I, I, get big before. Oh, yeah, you can continue real quick. Uh, so yeah, so what I was just gonna say was that uh, like every time I upload a short, if I if they're compared to videos, and that's just ki kind of by design, you know, actual videos you gotta produce to to upload, they're low effort, and th this is relative. You might put a lot of you know fancy pants editing into your short. I'm not taking that away, but I'm just saying relative to making an actual normal video. Uh, relative low effort and higher return on investment than a video. Because if a short flops, okay, I barely spent any time on it. If a video flops that you spend, you know, weeks to a month on flops, damn, that's like weeks to a month that is, you know, I've got so little to show, show for it. Meanwhile, I spent like maybe an hour or two in Premiere fucking around with the uh, with some text and uh, the positioning of a camera, and oh, look at that, I just got 5,000 views and, like, 10 subscribers off of one short. That is crazy how that works. Yeah, so... Neon... Because I, I have had one short in particular blow up. The best guy ever edit of that one scene in Onimai. I don't remember this scene in Onimai, dot, dot, dot. That has... Uh, yeah, screaming. Check it right now. I have to scroll to the side. 13,000. 13,000 views, yes. And, uh, admittedly, that one is actually funny. I, I like that edit. I think it's funny as hell. But, I, Neon, the one he pitched to me to start the shorts revolution, as it were, was the smug Kunami clip. So, I told him, I, I'll play ball. However, I will make it, <laughs> I will make a mockery of shorts. In the process. I and so I was not expecting you. I, I, I thought you were like I was trying to be like, bro, I'm i I'm saying give it like an earnest shot and you will see some growth. Uh then uh, then you took that as a challenge to be like, hmm, okay, you want me to make a short? Fine, I'll make the short. I'll make the most zoomer ass YouTube short you ever did see. The best part about having created this short is that 
every time I reference zoomers or low attention spans in any of my now any of my main channel videos now, I can flash that as a visual <laughs> because it's so perfect. So I have it pulled up right now. What I did was I put the actual video in a sort of square-ish aspect ratio, a little wider than that. I just had it, uh, well, yeah, I just put it at the top and then panned around when I needed to. And then at the bottom, I have Subway Surfers, uh, Cycles from Geometry Dash, Fortnite gameplay, Family Guy Funny Moments, Minecraft Parkour, <laughs> Skibbity Toilet, Among Us, and Newt Newt. And so oh, I I did I didn't even ski the the skibbity toilet. That's why I commented needs more skibbity toilet because I was like, damn, there this, is this, literally the skibbity toilet in it. <laughs> well, to be in my defense, you have so much shit at the bottom that I couldn't even parse it. Like it took me, I think, a second viewing to be like, oh, you did put Fortnite gameplay in there. Yeah. So someone said, oh, you know, it needs more Family Guy funny moments and skibbity toilet in there, and I said, True. yeah, guess what? what I put in there? <laughs> or no, no, it oh, wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't skibbity toilet funny moments. Uh, it, it wasn't skibbity toilet and for uh Family Guy funny moments. Now that I remember it, it was actually Family Guy funny moments and Rick and Morty that he suggested, and both of those are in the video. <laughs> there is. <laughs> There's one part where the screen zooms in, and I was like, oh, well, there has to be more clips in there, and so I just checked my memes folder, and sure enough, there was a meme based on uh, Pickle Rick, and it showed the first part of the episode. So I was like, okay, I can throw that in there. Into in this zoomer stew. Yeah, and there's also captions. After a certain point, it becomes pink Arial font. I'm tired of putting text. <laughs> but before that, it changes fonts and colors constantly. There's different effects on each of them. They're like just the default Vegas uh, slides transitions effects. And, and sometimes I make them shake. It's just a, one of them zo like warps the aspect ratio, so it just takes up like half the screen. It's a nightmare, and sure enough, let me check yeah, it's, the it's like a visual ratio. diarrhea. <laughs> it is a nightmare. However, if if you check the like ratio, it's currently seventy three point three, which is higher than it used to be. Because at its lowest, I think it was around sixty five. Because obviously, hey, hey <laughs> dislikes are equals are counts as engagement. Yeah, but here's here's the weird part. It has four point five k views. I later made a sincere version of the short that's longer and that makes a more coherent and full point. It has one point nine k views. Granted, it has a 95% like ratio, and in fact, more total cumulative likes than the prior short, but nonetheless, it actually has way less views. So you may be wondering, well, you know, why is You know that? what the problem is, Crunchy. I know what the problem uh, is. I need to put captions on. Yep. <laughs> so, okay, so what I did was I scheduled that... a bunch of shorts, and so... Uh, it's just three clips from my channel, two from the Rent-A-Girlfriend video, one from the Zadigoto video, and none of them have captions. And my test was basically, if I put out a bunch of very easy-to-make shorts like this, can, you know, will it do well? Like, can I get one of them to blow up? Where, uh, currently, two into the three I scheduled, and none of them and are doing... well. Okay, well, yeah, they, they, comparatively they flopped, but I'm actually comparing the uh, rag short to the Zadegoto one. It it seems to have some potential left in it, so I'll give that one another day. Because it's currently, although the Zadegoto one is currently beating it out, it's still almost to that level after half the time. So we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll put it, a pin in that. It's a damn that. shame, too, because you, you won the auto-generated uh, thumbnail lottery with the Zadegoto short. That was an actual, that was insane. <laughs> it somehow encapsulated the entire short in one image. I was flabbergasted. 
yeah, I, I expected the Zadagota one to do terribly. And, I mean, it kind of did, but it surpassed my expectations. And so, there, there's one left of the bunch. It's a short called She Deserves This with Mini Aimori, with her antennae removed as the thumbnail, so winning the shorts lottery again. Has God intended. Yeah. And I'm hoping that that does well. It's... I think did you, did you add captions to that one? No, I did not add captions. It's the final one that I'm going to do without captions. And if it doesn't do well, then I'm just going to take the plunge and say, "Okay, you win. I'm going to begrudgingly and somewhat cynically put the captions on." Granted, not with as many effects as last time. It'll, it'll probably be in phrases of like 2 to 5 words. You know, I hate when it's just a single word each time, but, you know, I'll try and find the right balance. Another thing that I have in the back of my mind that I have not... Okay, well, I wrote the script for one episode of it just on a whim. It took literally like 10 minutes to write because it's a short, you know, you only have to write a minute's worth of words. That is not difficult to do. But I, I have this idea, it's sort of like alphabet lore where each episode would be, like, a different part of story, and it's just some, like, absurdist shitpost thing. Uh, like, Penguin- Another example, Penguins of Madagascar obtained the N-word pass. Hood classic YouTube content, by the way. But something along that those lines tonally, just with less slurs in them, <laughs> as you may expect. Nah, fuck, 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 fuck you, coward, put in more. Oh yeah, we'll one-up the video that at this point gets taken down from YouTube re uh, regularly, and the only ones that don't get taken down are the ones that change it to... Uh, I, I either say it with a B in it instead of a G, or just cut out the audio entirely at that point. You can't erase history! <laughs> I do regularly rewatch. Uh, what uploads are left of the Penguins of Madagascar obtained the N-word pass. Because it's, it's, it's a classic, come on. Obama, what are you doing here? <laughs> uh, yeah, the awesome video. Uh, so, with shorts, uh, there's uh, two, two little topics that I want to go in for, uh, talk about before we wrap this up. Uh, there, there are some, some good in them. Uh, they fill a niche that was once a relic of YouTube that is, uh, like, the no longer viable. Before shorts, this was, at one point, viable way back when. Not anymore. Uh, the idea of short-form videos. Like, they, and I mean by not literally YouTube shorts in the, uh, the feed way, but, like, you know, short lengthwise videos. Uh, that can go even for, like, announcements and stuff. Like, uh, back in the day... Uh, there was this one YouTuber I used to watch that I don't anymore because he was, is kind of a creep now. He got caught doing some creepy shit. Uh, Pro Jared. I don't know if you heard of him. I have heard of him, and apparently the allegations weren't actually true, is what I've heard. Uh, the he, they he didn't knowingly uh give his nudes. He to was minors, just kind of a, a weirdo, you... is what I got from. Yeah. Him. Yeah, but he still sent uh, fans his nudes, so yeah. If you, but pro tip by the way, uh, from Uncle Neon, if you ever find yourself in a situation where you're s uh, sending nudes to someone anonymously, and you're like, uh, or someone you don't know, uh, and you're like, hmm, do do I know a hundred percent or not if the the person I'm sending to is uh, underage or not? Uh, if you ever find yourself in that position, just don't fucking do it. <laughs> The, the answer is, don't do it. Well, Neon, you sort of skipped a step, which is that you assumed I I'm confident enough to post that. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, hey, man, Pro Jared's got more, got, got crazy confidence in him to post his fucking goblin dick to some children. A confidence that I definitely do not have, but that's a story for another day. <laughs> that, that's a topic for my therapist. <laughs> Uh, so, he used to do a thing called One Minute Reviews back in the day. Uh, and he, that they were really fun, they were, you know, what they are what they say on the box, they're one minute reviews of games that he didn't have enough time to dedicate entire video reviews to in between his big projects, 
Uh, but he was like, hey, you know, I'll just, uh, because the YouTube algorithm at the time, you know, uh, as long as you got views, uh, then it, it doesn't matter uh, how, what length the video was. It just matters if they clicked on it. That's that. Uh, then they shifted from uh, views to watch time. And now shorter videos uh, no longer benefited from the algorithm. So they became obsolete in favor of, you know, the classic 10 plus minute video. Uh, but now shorts can fill that role once again. Now, uh, and even reward you for it if you make it one that happens to pop off in, in the algorithm. Uh, it, because like, as an example to use for us, uh, I would not be able to make the announcing Shinkai month, uh, video, uh, short, a normal video, otherwise it would have tanked in the algorithm, and my, would have, you know, when you have a video tank in the algorithm, it tanks your channel a bit, it, uh, kind of pumps the brakes on your momentum. But, you can do that in a short, and, uh, the consequences are... It's negative if you have a short that flops because uh, you can just as easily have one that succeeds. I have yet to confirm this myself, but I think the success of YouTube shorts is not the same as uh, videos where if you have a bunch of shit videos in a row, the algorithm starts, you know, taking you down a peg and stops recommending you as much. Whereas I don't think that applies to shorts. From not from what I've seen, because my short viewership is all over the place. Yeah, YouTube seems to just juice shorts universally for a certain amount of time. And then after that, immediately ceases juicing them. And it, it, they rock it up fast and plateau even more quickly. Like for yeah, a, a, any other name, video, so. yeah, for any other video... Even if it doesn't blow up, you can still expect it to curve off, uh, you know, relatively slowly. Sometimes it doesn't work out like that, but you can expect it to start, you know, curving slowly into a plateau around the 24-hour mark. For shorts, if it doesn't get a thousand views within the hour, it's dead. <laughs> Genuinely. Yeah, so sometimes maybe it'll get, like, a, a bump either... A couple hours uh, from when it was uploaded, or maybe if you're lucky, if the if the algorithm gods bless you and say, you know what, 24 hours later we'll give you one more chance, kid. We'll put your name back out. That there is what happens you... to the smug Kudami short, which is why it has so many views. It got juiced a second time. Yeah, but uh, from from my experience, and I think from yours as well. Uh, you do not get juiced uh, more than more than twice because you get your first dose right when it comes out in like the first hour, and then you get your second dose either like the same day, maybe an hour three later, somewhere in that range, or twenty four hours later. You don't after that, you you're done. Yeah, and so it's a very simultaneously forgiving and unforgiving al uh, algorithm. And here's something that I want to point out. Uh, it doesn't- th there's something about shorts that just doesn't feel that satisfying compared to main channel videos. Granted, because they're lower effort. But, like, you know, when a no main channel video gets views, to me it feels like, ah, oh, shit, I'm- you know, I actually worked so hard to get that, and then I'm competing in this really rough and tumble algorithm, and then when it does really well, I'm like- Oh wow, you know, that's the greatest thing in the world. And even if it only gets 2,000 views, it's like, eh, but I still worked hard for them. You know, it's still satisfying. With shorts, yeah, they, it's a, they're kind it's of. A sense of pride is lost. Yeah, so there is something to say about how quickly you can get videos out with shorts. Because I, I busted out like three of them in an hour, genuinely, and scheduled them all at the same time. And so, uh, unfortunately for me, I have to put text in them. So, well, I will I probably soon just... have to put text in them too. Yeah, so your editing time is gonna shoot up because if Literally I didn't put double. text in all those Mario, <laughs> yeah, if I didn't put text in all those Mario Party ones, I could have gotten like all of them edited in one day, and then you know, scheduling them to come out every weekday in a week. Well, it helps for me that I genuinely uh, they're already edited, right? So I just pan yeah. the camera 
for the clips. And so there is something to say about, oh, I don't have to work at all to get this out. No, I can just get her out, get her out, get her out. And that that is kind of addicting in that sense. But then once they're up, like, I, I did the unthinkable. I genuinely did not check my analytics for a newly released video. That does not happen for any other, like, only in shorts would I do that. Would I be that ambivalent about how well a short is doing? Like, when I newly release a video, uh, to put this into perspective, right, the owning my video, I would constantly check the analytics, what was blowing up. It got so bad that I had to, like, self-impose a ban from checking YouTube analytics for hours at a time. And then I'd, I'd sneak one in, though. You know, the, the addiction would get the best of me, and I'd check to see how it was doing. Granted, that's a very, you know, uh, like a very special scenario. But even for, let's say, the fucking, uh, I don't remember this scene in Oni My Short. I did not check the analytics for it. I didn't care. Because it's just, it's a clip from another video. And it prop, and that's another thing. I'm not sure how, you know, you can say on the surface that uploading shorts is good for your channel. And sure, overall it probably is, but I, I wonder about the subs you get from shorts. I wonder about how much they care and how much they actually like you for your content because somehow i have yeah. my doubts in see it, it's it's hard to understand uh it's a little hard to you know full, get the full picture of it because i um, i'll i'll say straight up well that's because this is partially because i rarely subscribe to youtube channels right now uh i i haven't put myself out there to you know find uh a particular you know, creators content that I like and, you know, what what I like to do when I find a new guy is if he made one good video and is like so good that impressed me enough to check out the rest of their work, then I'll watch uh, some of their older stuff. And if I like all that, I'll be like, all right, I feel like keeping up with this guy's content, so I'll subscribe. I've never subscribed to anyone because of their shorts. Same, though, to be fair, once like you said, I barely watch shorts to begin with. And so, yeah, it's just like, there, it's hard to put into words, but there's this overall feeling of, I don't know, it, it just apathy towards shorts. Like, even once I'm putting in more work into them, it would solely be to get views. There is no actual passion in it for me. Granted, that might change if I end up doing what I what I want to do and make that fucking ridiculous meme story out of a series of like 10 to 15 shorts that by the way I already have an ending in mind for uh, like <laughs> <laughs> you'll make it the one piece of of the one YouTube piece short. of YouTube is, shorts is that yeah. even a thing you may, I, I I don't know you might you might be onto something you might be like pioneering the first uh you know YouTube short format uh long-term store uh long-form story well alphabet uh, alphabet lore already beat me to it but it's definitely not a regular thing because a uh, uh, youtube is inherently bad for seri uh, serialization people don't like clicking on more than one video in a row to catch up on the lore they just want it all in one single video and so that's sort of the issue that people run into but maybe i can be the one to make it work who knows? And those would probably be something that I, I'm passionate about, and that I would f I would check the analytics for. But right now, it's very much a okay. I'll upload shorts because business, because it's good for my channel, probably. Yeah, I'd say. While it's it's tough to gauge how much subscribers from shorts will go on to engage with your main content afterwards. I feel like, especially for smaller creators who can ha who might happen to have a short pop off in the uh, algorithm, because I'll, let me see if I can quick pull up the stats for the Splatoon 3 short that I made uh, about a year ago, and how many subscribers that got me. Actually, I should uh, totally check 
how many subs I've gotten lately. I uh, I got eight subs off of that one. And that that was not much. That was only like a day's work. Like, I'll do maybe last not even a full day, like a, a, days a few hours. YouTube shorts. So I'm going to go to subscribers. So yeah, it was at a steady rate of about three to uh, anywhere from two to four subs per day. And then, yeah, once I started putting out shorts, it's at 15, nine. Uh, first day at five. And so it is slowly helping the channel. Yeah, uh, are you able to check the analytics on your uh, Oni My short to see how many subs that got you? Uh, I know I've checked it before. It isn't that much compared to what you might expect, if I'm remembering. I know, I know it's not nearly as much as the Oni My video itself. But... Well, yeah, obviously. But the I don't remember this scene in Oni My. Uh, 31 subs off of... 13 yeah and like um, look at how little work you had to do to make that and that that you you and you basically you, know, you we can let we'll even lowball it to say like 25 subs because maybe six of them unsubscribed because they were no, like oh, actually okay, here's something else uh when it, when a video says that you got x amount of uh subscribers from it right that's not entirely accurate, because it's only people that subscribe on the page for the video. It does not count people yeah. who went to your channel page and hit the subscribe button. So it is, I'd actually say a lowball estimate of, uh, like, what the video says. That's probably lower than the amount of subs it actually gave you, if you're including people right, who we'll, went we'll, to your we'll channel. Say, we'll say... We'll say 30 then. That's 30 subs you just got from, what, uh, an hour's worth of work at most? Yeah. You know, it, it is good for the channel, probably. I would imagine. Uh, it's just not ideal. Yeah, and, and the, way, the way I that shorts work, do. the more the more you make, uh, you know, the more people watch your shorts, the more your other shorts will get recommended to them in their home feed. So you do got to make a certain number of them. And have them get get watched enough, cause they, I, I feel like with shorts, it's just gonna be like a, a cumulative snowball effect where once you've made enough, and once you've uh, as long as you put them out often enough and make enough of them and have the final step, the, which is the hardest one, people watch and engage with them, then it'll show up in their feeds, it'll show up in other people's feeds, it'll start this big snowball effect, kind of like a truncated version of the main YouTube algorithm for regular videos, and it looks to be maybe not the fastest way to growth because I think at the end of the day, nothing beats, you know, making an, an Onimai more than fan service type video where you you put the work in, you uh, make a video that hits the right niche and uh, resonates with a specific crowd that happens to go off in the algorithm enough to where it takes your channel from what, what, how many subs did you have? A little over 1,000 to a little over 5,000. So it gained me 4,000 subs in the long run. Actually, let me see how many the video yeah. itself says, just to get an estimate of what that's like. So the, Okay, so the video itself says I gained 2.9k from people clicking on the sub button from that video, and I gained 4,000 total during that time span. So if you want, it, we can say that you add plus 25% to any number of subs you see on a video if you want to extrapolate that data. Yeah, it's it, it seems like a necessary evil. Unfortunately. But yeah, it's like you, you you don't you don't got to enjoy playing the game. Uh you, but you got to it, it's a literally don't hate the player, hate the game. At the very least Shorts are the one thing that I can compromise on as a YouTube channel. So when I make my actual videos, right, I am very hesitant to say, do the Mr. Beast thing of <laughs> ye <laughs> yelling too loud or summarizing the video too quickly, not setting up any atmosphere whatsoever, just being the most obnoxiously uh, generic channel ever, sanding it down to where all my personality is removed. I can't be you know, cynical. Lowest common denominator. Yeah, I can't. I I think I am physically and mentally incapable of appealing to the lowest common denominator and a piece of art that I actually care about. 
but sure. Of course you are. And you, you, your most popular video is Onimai, and you uh, made it a goal to uh, lead like once every six months and do a video on a book series that only the people who read those books care about, which is a very s vastly small audience. Yeah. It is a miracle that the Yuzari Goto videos get the views that they do, in my opinion. Even 2,000 is too, way too much in your eyes. Well, even the first one has 5,000 now, which is crazy, and I am very excited Well, see, at least, at least that one has an anime that you both used in the thumbnail and also could, uh, you know, derive some connection to. The, uh, the romanticist one is just uh, the book. You're just making a video on a book. You want to know what's crazy? That's, that's my best video. Uh, I like that video more than any other video I've put out on my channel. And nobody it, will watch it. It definitely has the most, like, of your creative DNA in it. Because you, you put a fucking AMV in it. You put, a, like, skits and whatnot. It's a, it's a goddamn it feature length. It is filled with skits. It, like, all the visuals are... Because th there is no anime to just put as B-roll. So every visual has to be made from scratch. Either that or sometimes I take my phone out and record the words of the book. It's the very handmade feeling, and I like that about the Zanagoto series of videos. And, yeah, like, I, I can't butcher that and sand it down. But with shorts, well, I didn't care to begin with, so they can just be as obnoxious, as horrible, as agonizing as I want them to. Uh, like, if it's just a clip of a video, sure, I can put on Mr. Beast captions, I can, you know, retention whore it into oblivion. And the, the craziest thing about shorts, in my opinion, is that they haven't even reached their full potential yet on YouTube. Uh, the biggest thing that they're missing, custom thumbnails. I feel, I feel like the YouTube shorts game is going to wildly change. The entire landscape of it is going to change once they give us the ability to put our own thumbnails in there. I don't even know why they don't allow it. I just... I, I don't get it either, man. I, I, just the like... only thing I can imagine is to incentivize... Uh, like, like, they're so focused on scrolling that they don't want to do anything else that might affect the metagame to being about uh, it, uh, popping into people's, I guess, homepage. Maybe they just solely yeah, but you, want it but to be YouTube about YouTube has said that they're, gonna, that they're working on giving us a uh, custom... Short yeah, they said they so. they are, but I just have to wonder why it wasn't there from the beginning, because that's not a feature <laughs> that that's literally in YouTube already. It, normal videos have that in them. There is literally no reason why they wouldn't have thumbnails unless it was if, like if a I were if decision. I were to guess, it's only because it's a uh, uh it's what because hey. Uh, Instagram does it, TikTok does it, so we'll just copy what they're doing. That might uh, very well be it. Just rip off TikTok as much as possible. Yeah, although I feel like this put giving thumbnails would give us the edge, give YouTube the edge over Instagram and TikTok because then you'll be like, okay, this short is now way more appealing to me because instead of taking the worst possible out of context frame of like uh, uh, some text on screen that doesn't necessarily correlate directly with the point of the video or you like you caught it in mid transition and there's this like blurry effect on the text now uh i can make a very eye click an eye catching clickable thumbnail but instead of having it be you know uh 16 by 9 aspect ratio it's 9 by 16 to be fair i have been very lucky with my thumbnails for most of my shorts uh, granted, the Smug Kudami yeah, the one, there is no thumbnail that looks good, but <laughs> due uh, to the I, nature I, of the video, I, as, I, as, I mean, due to the nature of the video being visual vomit up until <laughs> Smug Kurumi shows up and just dominates the whole frame, I'd say you kind of got lucky again with the, uh, with, with the Smug Kurumi when you got a uh, sick Ahegao uh, Jisato on a poorly cut out phone, you have a... Uh, uh, I'm tired of writing text as the only readable thing on the screen. You have the whole visual vomit of I guess it Subway does Surfer's Geometry Dash. I guess it Family does Guy, represent Fortnite, the video. Yeah. Uh, and then 
you know, stuff like the, the Liquor Sequoia one. I think it just being Takina uh, of a close-up is the best that it could have been, given the uh, the nature of it. I think it maybe it was just it was missing some text and maybe like some some, some maybe some kind of visual flair on the top and bottom because it's just a, a flat shot of Takina. Uh, Chisato, not, not Chisa, of Chisato. Um, the Mahiro, not Mahiro. What's, what's the such name? Mihari in Oni My One. Uh, yeah. it's a big close up of an anim- cute anime moe girl crying. That that's that's a banger auto generated thumbnail. Decided to go uh, to one the, we've already gone went... over. Uh, yeah, that's just peak. Uh, you could not ask for a better one. The rent a girlfriend one, like the the rent a girlfriend one, is like begging for something to be in the bottom. To like, ha- it's like there's some negative space there. Yeah, although like, inevitably that, that one's, have beg- to be that one's begging for text the most. Yeah. Well, I don't look at any thumbnail and say, ah, oh, all it needs is text. I hate text too much for my brain to be wired that way. I, on the artistic level, yes, but if we're talking, playing by the current YouTube short game, the, yeah, they, they, they need it. The only thing I like, can hope for with shorts is that something extremely anti-meta catches on. And then people start doing that so that we can finally... Because you, you were saying, oh, it's the return of short-form content, kind of. And I agree, asterisk, because it's shoved into the same aspect ratio. It has to have text because of the metagame. Uh, you essentially have to butcher your own content in order to make it fit what is in right now. And so in that sense... I mean, sense, to, about the, the butchering the aspect ratio, you can, if you make original shorts and not just take highlights of clips and squish them into the frame, uh, you could just work around that, uh, you, 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 that limitation. Yeah, although I, I, I just don't like the aspect they, ratio, they just, period. But yeah, you can work they, around they it to a certain They just recently implemented the, the, uh, the new feature on shorts where you can directly link a video on the screen i do love uh, that so yeah so now you can if you take a highlight from a video now you can just have it on the screen you can even say in the short now to to game the system uh hey if you enjoyed uh the and like if you want to see more of this video uh, that the, the more of the video that the short is from click the link on screen here let me see if... bada bing bada boom all right so let, let me see if the Zadegoto video got any more views from the short. It's the last seven days. Uh, I would, I would not, check the Licorice Recoil noticeably. one. The Licorice I, Recoil I, I one. Ch- I, I think the Licorice Recoil one is a more of a better case study okay, so for here, this. Let me go to past seven days. Uh, so October 31st got 27. 25. Actually, what, what day did I put out the shorts? So that would be... Uh, November 4th and 5th. Did it get, like, a, a boost relative to the days pe- before you, the shorts came out? Uh, ever so slightly. It is, uh, okay, so before that, it was getting around, like, 27, 25, 24, 19 on November 3rd, then 30 like, and 29. So like, mid-20s. Yeah. Like, mid-20s per, per day. And now it's at 30 and 29. And then it went back down to 10 uh, on November 6th, which... Uh, well, so is there, there's a, a, a bit of a spike. A tiny one. And, and granted, those are ones where you didn't uh, go full, full shorts mode and, you know, make it as the most YouTube short engaging as possible. So imagine what, how a uh, different world where you did do that. Yeah, what I'm probably going to do from here on out is get shorts out uh, after the experiment wraps up of everything I have scheduled. I'm probably going to gun for a short every other day or every few days. I'd say, honestly, like putting out a a short a week is pretty good. There there are some channels who. And I'll probably default that to that. Nothing but shorts. Yeah, like, oh, I'll, I'll inevitably have to default to that just because I'll run out of clips. But I could probably squeeze yeah. a few more in doing it every few days. And just... and Because I want to get more and hey, out if you, now if you ever just find to learn yourself... how to retention whore as effectively as possible. 
<laughs> yeah, if you if you ever find yourself in the situation where, damn, I want to make this a video, but I just don't have the time to, uh, I don't think I can stretch it out to the to make it like uh, engaging for the algorithm. You could be like, oh, okay, I bet I can truncate my points enough in this one minute span of time to get my piece out there. Yeah, probably. Although, God, I I, I hate truncating points because. My videos tend to leave in, you, you probably know this better than anyone, as someone who tends to prefer uh, points be shorter, at least in my experience. Uh, I tend to leave in I mean, all I, the nuance. All the nuance that no I, one I, asked for. I mean, for. If, it, if it's a, uh, depending on how much of a thing you're analyzing, uh, I don't think you needed three hours to analyze bottom tier character Tomazaki-kun, but you know, teach their own. Uh, well, granted, I don't think I needed that time either, but I do tend to, like, the entire latter half of the Leak or Rico video is, well, probably not the entire latter half, but, like, a third of the video is used for one point told in extravagant detail, which... Well, see, that one you... I think I justified ...made your case it. throughout. Yeah, that, that one was justified, because that was, like, the, the crux of your entire beef with the show is, like... Dang, uh, this one moment, uh, like, t soured the entire show for me. And now I'm, and the first, now I'll recount my first time watching it, my second time watching it, and how I've recontextualized it. So now it's, a uh, the before and after. Yeah, whereas in, like, a Spuddle video, it'd be, just say the point. As opposed to, and here's nine <laughs> as fast minutes, as possible. and here's nine minutes of me going into way too much detail about why that is. Oh yeah, spe speaking of Spuddle, we haven't mentioned his shorts because they are fucking crimes against humanity. I genuinely have, like, barely watched them. I tried watching some to be like, okay, how does he do it? it it's the, they're all the same. They're all Minecraft footage or uh, Subway Surfers, and they, he makes, with different, he makes the same points, the same structures about different shows. You watch one of his shorts, you've seen them all. Okay, I'm currently watching them. Yeah, so it it's just uh, sound effects he spam says, over. The name captions. of the show in uh, either English or Japanese first, and then the other the translated title the other way, uh, and and then talks about like who made it, what studio, what's it about, uh, the baseline appeal of it, and like you know, so throw in the occasional one second one liner joke in there. To, to get people, you know, made attempt a laugh. You know, I wonder if I can parody this type of short by I making the most obnoxious. And, and the thing is, it could be a parody only to people who under, <laughs> only to people who aren't short who fans. Subscribe to, to Spuddle. <laughs> uh, well, not Spuddle even. It would because this is a lot of anime shorts. Because I'm sort of getting, like, uh, I'm, God, I'm stuttering way too much. I don't know Spuddle's shorts in particular very well, but I do know the, the genre of short that you're referring to, the vapid, uh, non-point that they make. I went to Japan and I dropped $5,000 to get this Hatsune Miku Ona hole from this crane <laughs> game. <laughs> now let me- <laughs> yeah, that, I just spent $10,000 making a Mr. Beast branded dildo. Now I'm going to deliver it to him. <laughs> and then you 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 narrate it and you tell the whole story in that and that's how i just spent ten thousand dollars on a mr beast dildo and delivered it to him yeah i i could probably parody that with some like the most trending anime i could probably make what <laughs> i could you you want to know the perfect show for this Do it on free run. yeah i li i was literally going to say free run. Because not just because it's trending, but because Freerin is quiet and contemplative, the short would be loud and obnoxious. It is the antithesis of the show itself. Oh my god, it, it's it's art, art, li literal art. <laughs> yeah, it would just be a nightmare. Uh, we have gone on for an hour and five minutes about YouTube shorts. Yeah, I was good. 
Yeah, I, I was gonna be like, damn, we kind of don't have time in this episode to do the other thing that we wanted to talk about. So I guess we'll save yeah. that for the next thing, the next time we almost in the six months <laughs> from now. Yeah, I feel like that one would be better bundled into another episode because I like the idea that this is just our pure shorts venting undiluted shorts rant we just shit talking youtube shorts for an hour oh god what have we done it's perfect uh, do we have any close any, any closing thoughts any how, how can we change shorts to make them better if we could outside of the obvious give us thumbnails uh i mean that's the thing shorts right now are sort of i, I know i hesitated to say artistic movement but it really is in the sense that it's the trashiest type of internet art that you could imagine. And so yeah. it would have to be a mass cultural shift away from overstimulating content, which will not happen anytime soon. Shorts are going to be cancer and probably are only going to get worse for the next, at a minimum, Five years. I genuinely don't think we can make them any less retention whorish, any less uh, overstimulating until that time span has passed. I think in t because that's the point where in an ideal world, people will get sick of it. And then someone super anti-meta will come in and start a new trend. Otherwise, I, I feel like we're stuck with it. And e even more cynical predictions... Uh, like Tom Scott predicted that shorts, uh, short form content will become the primary form of internet content by the year 2040, which I, I doubt I, that. I we, doubt that. We've had, but th that would be ever a since dystopia. Ever we've been able to upload more than 15, like eight to 15 minutes of content on YouTube at once, we've been, we, we've been eating, we've been consuming. We've gotten them up to content. seven hours. So I yeah fucking A AVGN's been doing it for so long and he's still going and everyone anyone like throw a rock at a YouTuber online they were probably inspired by um Angry Video Game Nerd or at least inspired by someone who was inspired by Angry Video Game Nerd like I don't think long form content is going away. Well, he never uh, said it was going away. He just said that it would become extremely short form niche. be the primary. Yeah, short form will be the primary, which uh, I, I mean, I think right now happen. they, I think right now they coexist, but I don't think you can have one without the other. Hopefully, that that that's what I'm hoping for, and I think they'll they will forever coexist, but because. Uh, here, here's here's a here, here's a uh a the wrench in that theory. We lived through Vine and TikTok is the new Vine, but it's Vine but longer, but not too much longer. Well, yeah, Vine was it's six long seconds. Enough. You can't do anything in that time. They eventually raised it to well, one minute, I think, by the end. But by that point, the site was already on its last. Vine legs. was dead by yeah. then. Like there was no saving yeah. it at that point. Yeah, remember there was a time not too long ago, not even a decade ago, where Vine was huge, like almost as big as YouTube. It was like YouTube, but uh, for shorts, for short form content. It was mostly comedy, uh, but it well, was... Well, you gotta put comedy it, it was, in quotes there, because you can't really make and, well, much of a joke in six seconds. Uh, well, uh, some people said. Some people Dude, did. I fucking... It's very hard. Um, I... I'm <laughs> I remember you know I I feel old as fuck for remembering this and I, I hate that I do I remember when the guys like Logan Paul and Jake Paul got their start on Vine and people seem to forget that people think they got their start on YouTube dude I remember no, when motherfuckers started on Vine I remember when people would call Logan Paul and Jake Paul Viners as insults all the way back in 2017 where they'd say they, like, try to invalidate their YouTube existence by saying, bro, you're just a viner. Shut the fuck up. And look who's laughing now. Oh, uh, God. Uh, yeah, so... To improve shorts, uh... Give us thumbnails. Give us an option to turn off the fucking UI, or at least fade it out oh, after absolutely. the first... At, le at least give us the option, like, oh, you know, kind of like in YouTube, where if you hover over the screen or you touch the screen on your phone, 
the on-screen elements will stay up for like three seconds and then just have it fade away. And if we want to turn it back on, uh, I don't need to tap the screen by itself to just pause the video. I don't mind if a big giant pause and play button shows up in the middle of my phone screen when I do a short. It basically already happens when I watch regular videos on YouTube. Just let me tap the screen to bring up the UI. I can tap it again to get rid of it. Or if I want to pause it, I'll tap the screen, tap the pause button in the middle. All right, so what I want for shorts, this is, uh, okay, so I was saying we needed a cultural change, but I think YouTube can actually do something to promote that cultural change, which is make it so you don't have to put them in vertical aspect ratio. Make the aspect ratio conform to whatever the video is. Within reason, of course. You can have square uh, there, videos there in is a trick. 1080. There's a trick? There, there is a trick where you can just say, uh, uh, hey, turn your phone at the beginning of this uh, short. I've seen a couple guys do that oh. before. Well, you can't do that on, <laughs> on, a la uh, on a monitor is the issue. Yeah, yeah, it, it only works exclusively on mobile. You can't do that on, unless, unless you got one of those you know, monitors where you can rotate them, but no one's going to be asked to do that. Yeah, and so, in, it, like, you can technically work around it, but I don't think many people, I, I don't think it can catch on. Because it's too no, much of a hassle. No, it's not going to. It, yeah. And so I just really want the... Uh, I don't want to be limited in the aspect ratio. Just make it any, any video under a minute is automatically submitted to the shorts algorithm. And maybe... God, would it be possible... I mean, I, I guess you could try and find a way to maybe turn off it entering the shorts algorithm and just make it a normal YouTube video. Uh, Although I feel like if you're making get, a video I mean, under a minute, you really yeah. want it in the shorts algorithm. But having the option might be nice. Well, if you're making a video under a minute, you probably don't want it in the uh, the regular video algorithm. Yeah, it, Unle unless you're I wouldn't at the very someone least. Uh, unless you're like a pre-established like animator, because you know animators don't. Oh yeah, are tra have been traditionally fucked by the algorithm because they animation's hard and expensive, and you can't really make too much of it. Uh, unless you like spend literally years on it, like a uh, shit like Amazing Digital Circus or TV pilots like Has Been Hotel or yeah, you know, shit like that. Yeah, and so that would be nice. Uh, other than that, I don't really have much. Uh, I mean, stop the UI from bugging out. Uh, just make it generally feel nicer to use because it. YouTube Shorts does sometimes, at least on a uh, fucking computer, feels like it's in beta still, and that it was rolled out in beta in order to compete with TikTok as soon as possible. Like, the fact that we're uh, obviously missing features like thumbnails, uh, the fact that scrolling up half the time doesn't even show the video you're scrolling up to, but instead just shows the previous video you scrolled down to, at least in my experience. Yeah. It, it's kind of a nightmare right now, but, you know, it will probably get better with time, at least from a UI and technical standpoint, from a features perspective, but... And here, and, oh, I, I thought of one more, uh, big improvement. Um, whoever's idea it was to make the shorts feed, uh, one video at a time on, like, the actual shorts tab, not, like, in your home tab where you can get, like, a little string of shorts recommended to you, uh, whoever thought it was a good idea to just make it one video at a time that you have to scroll through? Well, that's what you, TikTok like, fire is them? like. Uh, that, it, they're literally copying TikTok. That's the entire oh, point it, of oh, shorts. Oh, is that exactly that's, what TikTok's like? Yes, that is exactly what TikTok is like. It's an infinite okay, scroller. Okay, so, alright. Okay, well, here's, uh, alright, once again, I will beat the drum of, uh, Instagram because I think it's just, it does everything what TikTok does but better. Uh, you, you know what mobile Instagram looks like, do you? Nope. I do not use Instagram. Okay. Okay, it's basically literally YouTube, but um it's all like a perfect grid. There's no, you know, text uh that there's no informative text or view counts directly on the pages. Uh they just have little icons that tell you if they're videos or not. And they're all in this neat little grid. So, yeah, just make it makes the short feed grid based so that way I can see more shorts at once and I can be recommended 
you know, more things at once. Because I don't want to scroll down. Because if, if I just scroll down one feed, if I get to a video that I don't like, I'm not going to keep scrolling until I find one. I'm more enticed to be like, all right, I'm done with the shorts feed now. Give me the, the, like a choice. And then I'll be like, ooh, this one looks like something I might enjoy. Click. See, maybe maybe that's an unpopular opinion. Maybe that's a me thing. We'll see. I, I do agree that's better, but nothing will make me scroll shorts. <laughs> Literally no will, enticement. Well, if Unless the meta changes. I have changes. no enticement to scroll shorts as is now. This would be the only way you would get me to do it because that way I'd have, you know, visual options. I get to, I don't have to... Uh, you know, scroll one at a time. I'll get like nine on of like that can fit on a screen at once. I think that's fair. Yeah, I, I like think that's six, definitely six nine. better. Uh, and with that, I don't think I have anything more to say because we've been going uh, on for an hour and nearly lie. twenty minutes. So I guess that's Damn, it. We don't have a, like a cl- yeah. We don't have a well, the the worst part is now we don't have a clean amount of time to you know put in the video to be like. Oh, we talked to shit talking shorts for an hour. Now we have to tack on like 17 and, and we, 17 I, I minutes. can still make it an hour. That's still roughly in line with it. <laughs> or maybe say or, 80 or minutes. Or you could just be like, you could, yeah, you could say, yeah, you could just, uh, just say minutes and not leave, and leave out the hour. Yeah. So with that, if you listened all the way through, thanks for listening. This is now about the length of an, uh, of a normal castaway anime episode. And in fact, longer than some of them. Shockingly. But yeah, see you in the next. Eh, it's still on average. I'd say a little yeah, bit lower. A little bit lower. And with that, uh, see you next castaway anyway in six months. Yep. <laughs>